We've gone from uh, emotions being these spiritual, immaterial things to things, they're not even things, to actual molecules with molecular weights and peptides with sequences and structures. Tides bind the receptors and dock onto them and stay attached Then they come off and then they can come back on again and while they're there they are changing the cell. A receptor that has a peptide sitting in it sets off a whole cascade of biochemical events some of which changes nucleus of the cell. Each cell is definitely alive, and uh, each cell has a consciousness, particularly if we define consciousness as the point of view of an observer. There is always the perspective of the cell. The cell knows where it is, the cell knows where it's going, the cell knows what proteins it's making. The cell knows whether it's about to divide or whether it's in a program to stop dividing. In fact, the cell is the smallest unit of consciousness in the body. I'm hungry! The brain is made up of tiny nerve cells called neurons. These neurons have tiny branches that reach out and connect to other neurons to form a neural net. Each place where they connect is integrated into a thought or a memory. Now the brain builds up all its concepts by the law of associative memory. For example, ideas, thoughts and feelings are all constructed and interconnected in this neural net and all have a possible relationship with one another. The concept and the feeling of love, for instance, is stored in this vast neural net. But we build the concept of love from many other different ideas. Some people have love connected to disappointment. When they think about love, they experience the memory of pain, sorrow, anger, and even rage. Rage may be linked to hurt, which may be linked to a specific person, which then is connected back to love. We know physiologically that nerve cells that fire together wire together. If you practice something over and over again, those nerve cells have a long-term relationship. If you get angry on a daily basis, if you get frustrated on a daily basis, if you suffer on a daily basis, if you give your rewiring and reintegrating that neural net on a daily basis, and that neural net now has a long-term relationship with all those other nerve cells called an identity. Every time we interrupt the thought process, that produces a chemical response in the body, every time we interrupt it, those nerve cells that are connected to each other start breaking the long-term relationship. We're in completely new territory in our brain. And because we're in completely new territory, we're rewiring the brain, literally reconnecting to a new concept.